Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and and a yearly option. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make grass in the Unreal Engine, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do. Now, chances are you've probably seen a grass tutorial here and there, but this tutorial is going to be easy, and there's going to be a series of grass tutorials and landscape tutorials, so please smash that like button and subscribe. Remember, the more likes and subscribers we get, the more content we can make. Help us in the YouTube algorithm. So, one thing that we do need is we need to add in a couple of items to our project here. So, I've basically started here a third-person template. I like using the third-person template personally, but that's just me. Now, let's just go back here, and I'm going to add in this temperate vegetation, spruce forest, and... I'm going to add this for the entire series here, but we might not be using it in this tutorial. But the other thing we definitely need to use is this Mega Scans Meadow Pack. So they are both free on the marketplace, and they should be free. So anyway, you can go download them there, and we can hop back into this here. Okay, uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to add in a new foliage actor. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop up into this modes here and I'm going to put the foliage here. Okay, now in this, uh, once this comes up, this window uh, pops up here. And what we need to do is we need to add in a actor foliage here. And all I'm going to do is just save it as new actor foliage. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply um, click on it there. And what I'm going to do is hop into this grass here and then just bring out the zero level of detail here. So I'm just going to simply drag that over here. Okay. So um, as you can see, we now have the grass here. Now you have a bunch of options here. And the, the, the one thing that you really want to know is this density here. Now, this is where things get really easy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is under, again, the foliage here, I'm just going to simply push fill. Okay, and look at that. We now have some grass. So I'm just going to go ahead and push play. And you can see that there's some grass there. Okay, not really too impressive. Let's crank this up to not maybe um, to about a thousand. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to um, undo actually all of these here. And I'm going to just crank this up to a thousand here, and I'm just going to push fill. Now, as you can see, there's a lot more grass there. Okay. Now, I should mention that this fill does work um, only in certain instances. Like, if you want to uh, put grass on this particular item here, uh, then it will work, right? For example, I believe if you put it on um, there and there, it will work here. And then it does technically work on the stairs as well, but it won't work in all situations. Okay. And we'll be talking about that later, but let's go ahead and put it to 2000. Okay. And then you can see, you know, if you do it maybe two times or three times, you can start to see that you get some nice, it's a pretty nice looking grass. Okay. So I'm going to undo that uh, again here. Maybe you can do four, um, 4,000 and then there we go and that's pretty good now if you look into the bottom here you'll start to see uh, that there are some gaps um, that is totally fine uh, just because um, you, you definitely would want to put in some kind of material for the bottom here um, but as you can see this looks pretty good okay and what do I mean by that well let's just go ahead and click the select here and if we go and, um, and find the floor here um, and I think we have to actually go out of the mode here right yeah so if we go into the floor here you can see that the materials here if you type in grass right just this grass material and that's not the right one here but um, if we type in grass and then that's not a material instance We're looking for ground grass right there okay and then you can see here that if you kind of zoom in 
that it look it does have some texture there now why would we do that well there's a lot of reasons why we would do that in a, in a few cases here one of the reasons that we do that is simply because the grass here every time you add in something to the scene it does take on computing power and i understand that unreal 5 will have almost no limitations but you do always have to keep it in the back of your mind so if you play this here that does tend to look a little bit better and remember if you've ever gone to a grassland you'll start to see that sometimes there isn't grass covering 100 percent of the grassland um there's usually you can see some dirt here okay and so there you go that pretty much wraps this up here and you can see that you have some grass again thanks for listening please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video